Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. This is going to be your reading for Monday. I hope you're fantastic. Thank you for tuning in. So let's see what are the messages here for you, Aries. Show us Aries. Angel spirits, guys. Show us Aries. Show us Aries. Let's see what we get here for you, Aries. It's Ten of Wands. You have a lot on your plate, a lot of responsibility, and there is an issue here where someone is possibly avoiding conversation or not wanting to talk or discuss things fire energy oh wow so you receive an offer and this offer is exciting it is you're not bored this is some exciting offer okay somebody is compromising with you right here two of pentacles they want to compromise you are giving a little bit here. You're giving a donation or um, a deposit. You are giving enough something that would elevate or bring something up into value for you. You're giving to something that you think is valuable. There is a king of coin here, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It could be somebody with earth in their chart. It could also be somebody who has money, Okay, you want Hierophant, which means you want something to be by the book. You want it to be aligned. You want it to be ethical. Okay, so what do we have here for the outcome? What is the outcome for Aries? Knight of Cups with a Page of Pentacles. Somebody is reaching out to you, giving you something of value, and there is appreciation. Why are you six of coin? Judgment. Okay, so there is a decision, um, a restoration. Something is being brought up or brought back to life. Bottom of the deck is a two of coin. Sharing emotions, harmony, there is something here where you're sharing how you feel with someone. The moon hidden feelings. Somebody's not cooperating. Secrets. All right. Let's just. All right. So what is this king of pentacles? Show us the king of pentacles. Somebody is working on a commitment. They're working. They're earning money. Um, they are working on a commitment. Now. What is this Hierophant energy? You want something to be ethical by the book. Oh, wow. Ten of Cups. A lot of happiness. Okay, you want to follow some traditional way. Some ethical way. And you want something here where there's a long-term investment. Maybe marriage. Okay, so show us what is this Ace of Pentacles. So somebody rushes in, like it's an energy of urgency, and there's this feeling of stress with this. Okay, bottom of the deck is justice, something being made fair, balanced, equal, sort of truth, the scales, the balance. Somebody here is upset, page of coin, two of, or page of cups, two of cups. Somebody's upset about something here, and they're trying to make it work. They're trying to cooperate. What is this Ace of Coin that you're receiving? Aries, what is this Ace of Coin on your mind? Wow, the devil. And what is this devil energy? Wow, it's, for some reason, this is freaking you out. Okay. What is this Ace of Wands? What is so exciting 
Oh my goodness. There's something with a tower and a 10 of cups. Oh my goodness. Okay, so something is being raised back up, developed, brought back to life. There could be a calling that you have. Okay, what is this six of coin with the judgment? The queen of water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio energy. And what is this knight of cups here? Show me the knight of cups. Show me the knight of cups. Okay, the page of cups. There's water energy coming in and there's a king of water, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone with water in their chart. So there's something here about a situation where you might be afraid that you don't have control over a situation because something is given to you. What is this ace of coin? Three of coin, working on something like a team or a group. What is this ace of wands and tower? What is so shocking or surprising? Something with an empress, Venus, Fertility, abundance, and we do have fire moving forward. Okay, what is king of pentacles? Ten of pentacles, wow. Someone around you has money or financial resources. You want the hierophant though. What is the hierophant here? Exciting. Sparks. What is the devil here? Why is the devil showing up? The king of the swords. Somebody could be overly harsh. Um, their words could be overly harsh. It could be something about this makes you feel scared or worried. Why is there nine of swords? Why is there nine of swords? Four of Swords. There's something where you don't want to discuss it. You don't want to talk about it. You don't want to discuss something with someone. What is this? Wow, okay. All right, so show us the tower. What is the tower here? Okay. Five of Coin. Somebody feels left out in the cold. Okay, so your energy is compassion, paying, or something is being restored to you. What is this judgment? Show us the judgment. Okay, again, it's the same freaking card. You're getting the six of coin. So... Okay, so you're getting here a six of the coins. You're getting a benefit. Now you could be paying a little. Um, okay, Knight of Cups comes in with a page. It's the same energy. Knight of Cups, water energy, emotional energy, page of coin. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Somebody young and youthful. Somebody looking forward to developments, new developments. What is this King of Pentacles, or what is this Ten of Pentacles here? Okay, there is the Wheel of Fortune starting to turn. Fortune's Wheel, Fate and Karma. Okay, bottom of the deck is Two of Pentacles. Again, somebody is willing to cooperate. They are willing to compromise. Ten of, there's the death, somebody moves on. There is someone here who has wisdom, expert wisdom. Somebody shines the light on something. They give you information or advice. Okay, so what do we have here? Three of coin and ace of coin. 
King of Pentacles, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and we have a Queen of the Wands. Aries, you're feeling confident in this, okay? And we also have the Star card, Hope for the Future and Healing. So you're going to be moving forward in a new energy. What is the Tower? Seven of Wands, something you fought for. What is Six of Coins? Okay. Wow, this is really interesting. The sun and the emperor. So we have personal power, happiness, and joy. And then we actually have the devil. There's something here where someone is trying to persuade you. Something is being illuminated. Okay, what is this devil energy bringing in? What is this devil energy bringing in? What is this devil energy bringing in? Okay, I got a nine of coins, strength, three of wands. It's somebody could be tempting you to go be single or go with them. Um, it's a very tempting energy. Um, all right, could be somebody trying to persuade you to do something. What is the devil here with the three of coin? My goodness, ten of cups and the five of wands. Okay. Frustration, conflict, or competition, but there is a lot of happiness, or it could be someone you've known a long time, family, friends, people you've known. Okay, so what is this tower? Okay, we have something that is root chakra energy. It has to do with survival and something happening right away. Who is this king of water here? Who is this king of water as the outcome? Okay, it's the same energy. It's ace of wands. There's something exciting. Wow, okay. So it's something about a ten of pentacles. There's something about money, wealth, prosperity, or long-term commitments. Okay, something may change. Um, what is this Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel? What is changing? Again, it's the King of the Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Three of Coin, working something out as a team, working something out. And then we have here the Magician. Somebody is, is they've got ideas about how to fix something, how to make it work. Okay. Let me grab an oracle card and see what comes up here for you, Aries. Please show us Aries for Monday. And what do they need to see or acknowledge, please? Wow, the whip. Somebody is overly disciplined or harsh. Okay. Wow. You do have a choice. I did have the carousel. Something's happening over and over. Like it's a merry-go-round going on over and over again. Um, the moon. Something could be hidden. What do we have? Finding your true north. And there is something here about a home or a home situation and a Ten of Pentacles. There's something about a long-term connection, money, finance, investments. Time is of the essence. Time is ticking. And then we do have the soulmate card though. We have two people coming together like soulmates. There is a commitment. Wow, the ring just flipped out. There is a commitment, like an everlasting commitment. What is the discipline here? What's the discipline? 
What is the discipline? King of Pentacles. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. It could be something financial. What is the commitment? What is the commitment? Okay. There's something about bureaucracy. It could be something about um, a large institution. Uh, it could be anything to do with a school, um, a bank. It's a big bureaucracy or a big institution. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Actually, I might pull one more. Let's see what we have here for you, Aries. Show us Aries. Having a strategy, financial constraints. Anxiety, and then the cornucopia hits. Wow. So we got, um, <laughs> so we have here the strategy, financial constraints, anxiety, but then we have here the angel of balance coming in, and then we have here the cornucopia. All right. All right, so I'm gonna leave it here, Aries. Thank you for watching. Take care now. I will talk to you later. Bye, Aries.